letting you go because I want to elevate. I want to go higher and I can't go higher being anchored by all of this stuff that you're dumping on me. The Holy Spirit is waiting on you. You're waiting on God. He's waiting on you. you the door is open. Stop standing at the doorway looking like I'm, I'm so afraid to step in. I'm not deserving. I'm not qualified. I'm not this. God said you are. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. This is Grow With Row. My name is Regina. Welcome if you're new. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because as God downloads things into me, I'm uploading them into your spirit so that you can start living your best life in Christ today. Y'all, God is saying today that it is elevation season. It is elevation season for his children. Holy Spirit is saying it's time to elevate. It is elevation season. I don't care what the situation looks like. I just need you to tap into me and connect to me and find out what it is that I want you to do. The next steps to get to your place of elevation. The Holy Spirit is not playing around. He's trying to take you higher to higher, more honorable places, right? And how the Holy Spirit gave this to me in a couple ways. He was just screaming at me, elevate, elevate, elevate. I need you to elevate. I need you to take the steps so that you could elevate, right? And my, I remember the last night because my sister was moving and I remember the last night that they were in the house. I went to the house and I basically pulled up and I went in the house and my nephew was wearing a shirt with Elevate on it. And I'm just like, that is not a coincidence. Because before that, my brother-in-law came to my house to pick up something and he had on a pants that had the name of the place, my promised land that the Holy Spirit has been putting on my heart. And it had the name of that place on there. So I was like, okay. So then when I went to the house and saw my nephew in the shirt, it said elevate. And I'm just like, it's no way that both of them is wearing something that is aligning with what God has been showing me. And to top it off, one day I went shopping, I'm going through the store I saw socks, like kid socks. I was just passing. I didn't even plan on buying socks for my son. But then I'm like, I passed it and then I, I, I'm like, oh, I need socks for my son. And I'm like, let me just stop and look real quick. So as I start looking, I grabbed a couple pairs. They were on clearance. I'm like, it's a no brainer. Grabbed a couple pair of socks, a couple packs of socks. And I was just like, went about my day paid for them anyways fast forward to when put them on him and everything when i went home and put them on him for the first time didn't even notice but fast forward one day i'm sitting with him he's in my lap and i'm looking at the sock and i saw elevate on the bottom e l e v eight the number eight and i was like wait elevate this is socks i picked up the other day not even realizing that was the socks i just picked up two packs of random socks and one of them was saying elevate and then i went to put the i went to check the pack the pack that the socks came on and the pack said elevate i'm gonna insert a video here because i did do a a little video for y'all to see i was just like okay god i see you're saying i need to elevate you're elevating me elevation so today the holy spirit is saying to you that i'm elevating you also the holy spirit just pointed this out to me seeing elevate under the bottom of my son's sock is also representing that we as this generation need to elevate so that the next generation could walk in an elevated life thank you if you know what season you're in you've been gone through your pruning season people been leaving your life stuff been happening you've been having a hard time and you're just like why is my life turning upside down why is all of this stuff happening to me god is elevating you and so in order for you to elevate you have to let go of certain things people places and things to get there right it's like a plane when a plane takes off to go somewhere it can't hold on to things it has to leave those things behind and hold on to the momentum and take off. Like you can't have a 
a plane can't stay on the ground and elevate. So you can't stay where you are and elevate. A bird can't stay on the branch and fly. So the Holy Spirit gave this to me just now as I edit. Imagine a bird not wanting to fly away and leave the branch that he's on because he's so worried about not being able to find another tree. So he stays there at that tree saying, it's no way that I will find another tree. So I have to stay anchored to this tree and maybe I can grow from here. So it's the same thing. You have to be willing to leave the tree behind, whatever your tree is, in order to fly. The Holy Spirit also led me to scripture, Matthew 6, verse 26, and it reads, Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you more valuable than they? So why do you have such little faith that God will take care of you? Have faith in God because he will provide. The plane was supposed to take the airport with it and all the stuff with it. It wouldn't go. It needs to take off without all of that baggage. So it's the same thing with you. You can't go with certain people, certain places, certain things and go where you need to go. Things are going to keep you anchored to the ground. And so you have to leave those things on the ground and take off in order for you to rise in order for you to thrive so the holy spirit is saying final touches i need you to do everything that you know i'm calling you to do in order to get to your place of elevation and the holy spirit also been showing me 511 i don't know if y'all saw my last video that i did about elevation but the holy spirit showed me 511 in that video around that time and he's been showing me 511 again 511 coming up coming up and what 511 means in the Strong's Concordance is to a higher, more honorable place. To a higher, more honorable place. Right? And so in 1 Samuel, the Holy Spirit led me to scripture, 1 Samuel 2, verse 6 to 8. And it reads, the Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and he exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor right 511 is to a higher more honorable place and this scripture is saying that god is elevating you he could take a pauper and put them amongst the prince to sit down to a more honorable place right in a seat of honor for the pillars of the earth are the lord's and on them he has set the world right god rules the world so nobody who's in this high place and feel like they can't be knocked down the, the scripture says the lord makes poor and he makes rich as much as it's given to you it could be taken away the holy spirit is transferring things that was stolen from us right so things that you might have thought that you're not entitled to you're entitled to who are and more than entitled to it and so the holy spirit is elevating you to places you're gonna get into places where you're gonna be like oh my gosh like I, I don't even know how i end up here i never saw myself here i always wanted to be in a place like this i always wanted to in enter rooms like this i always wanted to communicate with people like this never know i could ever be like this and you're just gonna be shocked but the holy spirit is saying prepare yourself get yourself prepared get your vocabulary up get your 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 appearance up get everything up so that you can shine because we, unfortunately we live in a world where people look at you and judge you for how you appear the moment you step out and what comes out your mouth so the holy spirit is saying get in that's why he's been preparing you from the inside out and it's not just let me give you all these things to put on and to look like but he wants you to become that person and so it's not about who who you were it's a how it's about who you're becoming so you don't need to hold on to well i was this way and it's no way i can be this way you could wake up tomorrow or today or the next minute and decide i'm not gonna be this way anymore i'm gonna write down all the traits of what i didn't like about my character and change them to what i would like to be right so that when the holy spirit puts me in these places i'm ready to be that it could rewire your brain like sometimes it could be a thing where in your family 
they think a certain way they speak a certain way they act a certain way you don't have to carry that on if it's not aligning with your new identity just no reason why you need to stay the same way if it's your friends whatever you need to prune your you need to allow god to prune you and when people start falling off you need to know that it's okay the holy spirit also led me to scripture deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and it said if you indeed obey the lord your god and are careful to observe all his commandments i am giving you today the lord your god will elevate you above all nations of the earth right so if you are willing to strip yourself of everything that you thought your life supposed to look like and stop telling the holy spirit god i need this i need that and to actually say god i'm willing to let go off of me and my thought process and everything that i desire for my life because it's not working and tap into you the source of where what where my help come from where my life come from and tap into you to get the direction of my life if you would just surrender it all to god and say what is it that you want from my life and i'm willing to do whatever you ask of me that's when stuff is going to start opening up god is saying if you take my commandments and run with them that's when things are going to start flowing in your life right you see all these successful people in god not the other people I, like those people have to answer for themselves but you see these successful people in god they had to prune themselves of the the, the the ideas they thought the way they thought the attitudes they had they the, the 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 habits that's not working for them they had to stop speaking certain things like i'm not this way i'm not the type of person they had to stop speaking that way in order to develop characteristics of who and what they're supposed to be you cannot expect to stay the same way and elevate don't don't hold yourself back by refusing to do the hard stuff and so he also led me to scripture deuteronomy 26 verse 19 and it reads he has declared that he will set you in praise fame and honor high above all the nations he has made and that you will be a people holy to the lord so the holy spirit wants to elevate you for his glory for his glory that's why he's doing all of this he's wanting to elevate you for his glory so in the scripture philippians 2 verse 9 to 11 it says it reads therefore god elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all other names that at the name of jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under knee and under the earth and every tongue declare that jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father to the glory of god the father so the holy spirit is saying i will elevate you to where you're supposed to be for my glory because when you rise when i bless you it's not going to be any any man nobody in your life is going to be the one to take the credit because at that point i'm going to strip all of that from you when you're looking like why isn't the regular people that i usually go to for help helping me like i could always count on them i'm so sad i'm so disappointed like they're not helping me god is saying i don't want them to help you because i want to be the one to just shine on your life bigger than i ever have bigger than anybody ever have for you to realize that i am the one who did it so it will be no doubt that you could deny that i'm the one that did it it's no coincidence it's no nothing nobody else helped you i did for my glory because what god is trying to do is get as much people to come home to him he wants his children to come home to him so he don't want to sit here having you praise people you know what i mean he wants you to only praise him so it's for his glory so if you're wondering why is god want why does god want to bless little old me because he loves you as his child and he wants you to be blessed he doesn't want you to be out here suffering and for the enemy to win and laugh at you and say oh the enemy can't win the enemy can't win it's 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 not happening 
right so even though he might you might feel like he got you boggled down and tied up you need to look at your life and realize that when you sit there and complain and argue and all the negative things you're allowing the enemy to win if you are on earth like you're on earth right and if you're in a situation with somebody you're gonna show them that look you can't take me down you can't bring me down i'm everything and i'm i'm amazing and like you're gonna show them you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna fight so it's the same thing you can't you can't stay home and sulk and sulk and sulk because nobody's watching you have to be like well if i would go up against my enemy on earth and be like you're not gonna win and i'm gonna show you who i am and i'm gonna do all of these things it's the same thing god needs you to fight in the spirit realm to not let the enemy tie up your brain and to get out of that so that you could actually defeat him and tell him look you ain't gonna hold me down no more it's done it's done i'm done tying up my brain with you i'm done fearing everything i'm done this i'm done that whatever habits attitudes behaviors that he's been tying you up with i'm done i'm letting you go because i want to elevate i want to go higher and i can't go higher being anchored by all of this stuff that you're dumping on me that you're telling me that i am and who i'm not i have to go in the scripture and i have to ask god who i am i have to read the word because what the holy spirit says about his people applies to me because i'm his child you have to believe that and get out from under all the anchor so you could soar you want to soar right you want to elevate elevation the holy spirit is waiting on you you're waiting on god he's waiting on you stop missing out on the life that he got waiting for you the door is open stop standing at the doorway looking like i'm, I'm so afraid to step in and everything i'm not deserving i'm not qualified i'm not this god said you are he gave you full authority so start acting like it and elevate step in that door step in that door he opened right all of y'all who know you're in this season you know the season you're in stop acting like it and whenever this video comes across your timeline i believe you're in season but take it back to the holy spirit if you're not in season this is to wake you up for your elevation because don't believe that because you're not in the season if you're not in the season that your elevation ain't coming god still has some pruning to do on you so this video is here for y'all to wake up and to take what's yours what enemy stole from you your family generations take it back so your next generation your descendants don't have to suffer how you did right your generations your descendants your children do you want your children to suffer how you did if you have children now and you're barely getting by do you want them to continue seeing you barely get by do you want that do you want that or you want to elevate so they could get a better life and better opportunities and everything that you wanted when you were a child and more because it's not just about what you wanted now it's so much more that you want for your child and so you can't just look at it like oh well i'm able to give them things that i didn't have growing up well it's a new generation and they're also looking at other opportunities now that they want to have that if you don't elevate you can't provide that for them and the holy spirit is saying it's not limited to a certain set of people you have the opportunity to elevate to elevate your child to elevate your descendants to elevate everything from now on and while you are alive i wake you up every day it's a serious game it's not to sit here and 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 and, and sulk and say well it's not meant to be no it's supposed to, to literally get up and elevate and i'm speaking this way because i'm so ready to stop seeing people hold themselves down right the holy spirit is speaking through me so strong right now you need to elevate stop letting the enemy tell you who you are you tell him who you are fight the enemy fight the enemy through people people will come and smile and look like family and friends i'm not saying it's all family but you know certain people who's not in your corner stop going around them stop anchoring your brain with them whenever you go around these people you're just so anxious and sad and miserable stop going around them release them so you could elevate because you got business to do if you wake up you you can't be waking up like it's an accident while you're alive here on this earth you need to make moves 
so that when your gen when your next generation comes they could have something to look forward to when the next generation comes it's not just a situation of oh well we're just gonna do what what our parents did and do this and that no but it's like we literally are winning and the holy spirit is shining through us and you should you could show other people that the holy spirit god is who took me out of this so that other people could rise up too because he's doing all of this for his glory all right guys it's elevation season you know the season you're in get out from under and elevate all right i love y'all so so much with the love of christ and jesus christ love you so much more he loves you if you're having any doubt go in the bible because he didn't just say those things to what one said of his children he said it to all of us all right so stay in faith stay prayed up don't doubt anymore and share this video with anybody who you know needs to hear this message like the video because it pushes it out to as much people so that people could see this and elevate it's not just about let me look like it let i know it's a new year and people are like let me just it's not just about looking like it. it's about becoming that from now on not because that's why we can't stay consistent because when we start doing something then it's like it's, it's just surface level so it doesn't have no, no much meaning if you put meaning behind it and know that you're doing this for your offspring for your family even if you don't have kids you're doing it for your family your kids their, their kids you're doing it to make an impact start making an impact not just an impression but an impact right so that things could change you could make a change you could be a change because every day God wakes you up is for a purpose. Find that out and tap into that. All right? Subscribe to the channel because the Holy Spirit is downloading. And as he downloads, y'all are going to know. All right? I'm uploading. All right? I love y'all so, so much. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And until next time, stay blessed. Bye, guys.